So I'm in the uh, Microsoft 365 Outlook on the web and this version will look very similar to your Microsoft Outlook new version on the desktop if you happen to have flipped the switch. You first might notice that the ribbon is a little wider. Um, you can come and switch if you're seeing the simplified version, you can switch that and get into the classic ribbon. I like that a little bit bigger. What I wanted to share with you today was setting up a rule in this environment. So I'm getting into rules and here's a manage rules option. You can go that direction. You could also get into the settings and come down to rules. Look for the gear. Now, I already have a few rules set up for mine. These are, a rule is something that as the email comes into your email box, you say, wait a minute, Outlook, I want to do something specific with that email. So you create a rule. As those emails come in and the trigger point or the condition is met, it will uh, activate on that rule. So you name the rule. Here is a sample of the different conditions that you can set on your email. Moving a little bit out of the way. And you see all of these different things that we can activate. So as those emails come in, if it's from somebody, this is my favorite one, if it's from a certain person then I can activate a rule and maybe have it maybe move to a specific folder and these folders are what I already have set up in my um, account so depending what that is that you need and then you can add more actions if you needed to do more than one thing and you can add exceptions to that rule so I hope this helps you go get some rules set up. It will help you keep your inbox more organized. Just don't forget that you've moved those emails. So you'll see in those folders new unread emails coming in if you set up those kind of rules. So good luck. Hope this helps.